It was a quiet evening, and I had just completed my final food delivery for the night. The moon hung low in the sky, casting eerie shadows on the deserted streets of my small town in America. As I made my way back to my car, little did I know that this ordinary night would turn into a heart-pounding nightmare. I reached my car parked on the dimly lit street when a shadowy figure emerged from the darkness. He was tall, menacing, and his face obscured by a hoodie. Before I could react, the stranger raised his arm, and in the cold gleam of a gun's barrel, my world froze. Empty your pockets. He snarled, his voice dripping with menace. Panic washed over me as I stood there, paralyzed by fear. It all seemed surreal, like a scene from a crime movie. His agitated demeanor and the unpredictable tremors that coursed through his body revealed that he was likely under the influence of some potent drug. He kept babbling threats of violence, repeatedly promising to shoot my kneecaps if I dared to defy him. I stood there, caught in a nightmarish limbo, torn between the instinct to fight back and the harsh reality that my life hung in the balance over a mere $30. The store would reimburse me, and my bank account was a digital fortress far removed from this grim scene. There was no sense in risking everything for the sake of a paltry sum. With trembling hands, I retrieved the meager cash I had on me. The money from my last delivery, just a handful of crumpled bills, and thrust it towards him. His gloved hand snatched the money greedily, and without warning, he made a hasty escape into the darkness. My heart raced as I watched him fade into obscurity, leaving me shaken and disoriented. I fumbled for my phone and called the police, relaying the terrifying ordeal that had just unfolded on that silent street. The minutes that followed felt like an eternity as I waited for help to arrive, my mind a whirlwind of fear and disbelief. I had narrowly escaped a potentially deadly encounter, trading my meager possessions for my life. It was a nightmarish experience that left me forever haunted by the chilling reality that danger can lurk just around the corner, even in the quietest of moments. As the police arrived and took my statement, I couldn't help but wonder about the stranger who had threatened my life for so little. It was a stark reminder that the world can be a cruel and unpredictable place, where ordinary nights can quickly spiral into terrifying ordeals. Just a few days ago, I found myself on a routine pizza delivery to an apartment complex I knew all too well. Nestled in the heart of the city, this complex had been a frequent stop on my delivery route. Little did I know that this particular delivery would thrust me into the middle of a heart-pounding real-life drama. As I parked my car behind the apartments, I couldn't help but think that this was the quickest way to get to the customer's doorstep. It had always been a bit more convenient, saving me the hassle of navigating through the complex's maze of roads. Little did I know, this choice would soon prove to be a fateful one. Carrying the pizza, I made my way towards the front of the building, oblivious to the unfolding drama that was about to shatter the tranquility of the evening. Suddenly, a cacophony of voices filled the air. G heat down, don't memo v. The chaotic chorus of commands echoed around me, setting my nerves on edge. My heart pounded in my chest as I turned to the source of the commotion, and to my disbelief, a squad of police officers stood before me. Their guns were drawn, their faces etched with tension. I couldn't comprehend the situation, and for a brief bewildering moment, thought that I must have done something terribly wrong. Without hesitation, I dropped the pizza to the ground and instinctively raised my hands in surrender. One of the officers, his voice a mixture of urgency and exasperation, called me a dumbass and grabbed my arm, forcefully pulling me out of harm's way. I watched in shock as the scene unfolded before me. The apartment complex, typically a hub of everyday life, had transformed into a stage for a high-stakes standoff. Nearby residents, much like myself, had emerged from their homes, their hands raised in submission. It was a surreal and terrifying spectacle that left me stunned. I quickly dialed both the pizzeria and the awaiting customer, explaining the bizarre turn of events that had delayed my delivery by over 40 minutes. My coworkers were understandably concerned, while the customer, showing remarkable understanding, 
raised the tip from a mere $3 to a generous $15 as compensation for my unexpected ordeal. As I reflected on that harrowing evening, I couldn't help but feel a profound sense of relief that no shots had been fired and that no one had been hurt. It was an experience that had thrust me into the heart of chaos, reminding me that life's unexpected twists can take even the most routine of moments and turn them into heart-pounding tales of suspense. It was just another evening on my delivery route, roughly two weeks ago. The sun was beginning to set, casting long shadows across the quiet streets. Little did I know, this routine delivery would soon turn into a chilling encounter that would stay with me for a long time. As I turned a corner onto a dimly lit street, I couldn't help but notice a figure stumbling in the middle of the road. My instincts urged caution, but I continued, hoping the individual would clear the way. To my surprise, he lurched forward, flinging my car door open and demanding a ride. His disheveled appearance and slurred speech left no doubt he was inebriated. His eyes fixated on the contact-free delivery boxes in the passenger seat, and he began to mumble about having coronavirus. Panic coursed through me as he reached out for the food. In an alarming display, he picked up each box, examined it, and declared them empty before hurling them out onto the road. The situation was spiraling out of control, and I felt helpless. Desperate to defuse the escalating tension, I politely implored him to leave, unsure of how to navigate this surreal predicament. However, my words only seemed to agitate him further. Frustration got the best of him, and he abruptly slapped me across the face. I recoiled, stunned, and the taste of his sweat on my lips sent shivers down my spine, filling me with a profound sense of dread. The specter of the coronavirus loomed ominously in that moment, intensifying the fear that gripped me. Thankfully, after what felt like an eternity, he finally departed, snatching a can of Coke from my cup holder as he exited. With a sense of relief, mixed with lingering unease, I managed to compose myself and continued with the delivery. That evening's encounter left an indelible mark, a haunting reminder of the unpredictability and vulnerability that can lurk in the most unexpected places. It was a stark reminder of the strange and unsettling experiences that delivery drivers like me can encounter on any given day. My pizza delivery route often took me through various neighborhoods in Chicago, and I prided myself on being prepared for any situation. But one particular night, I found myself in a situation that defied all expectations. The delivery order was substantial, five piping hot pizzas to be delivered to an apartment in a notorious housing project on the south side of Chicago. As I climbed the seemingly endless flights of stairs to reach my destination, a sense of unease began to settle in. The reputation of this area was well known, but duty called, and I pressed on. Upon reaching the apartment, I knocked on the door with a mix of anticipation and dread. Moments later, the door swung open, revealing a room crowded with what could only be described as a dozen imposing figures. My eyes were immediately drawn to the hulking giant at the forefront, standing at a staggering 6'6 and weighing over 300 pounds. To my surprise, this behemoth of a man greeted me with a warm smile and an unusual question. Have you ever been robbed? My heart raced as I stammered out a nervous no. The room seemed to hang in suspended animation. And then it happened. In a swift, startling motion, the man produced a gun and pointed it directly at me. Fear coursed through my veins as I began to reach for my wallet, desperately hoping that compliance might spare my life in this dire situation. But what happened next left me in a state of bewildered disbelief. Without warning, the man pulled the trigger and a spray of water drenched my face. It was a water gun. My initial terror quickly transformed into a mixture of relief and confusion as the room erupted into laughter. The tension that had gripped me moments ago dissipated, and the giant handed me a $20 bill, offering it as a tip. As I made my way back down those seemingly endless flights of stairs, I couldn't help but chuckle at the bizarre turn of events. 
It was a night that had taken an unexpected twist, a reminder that sometimes, even in the most challenging of circumstances, the human spirit can surprise us with its capacity for humor and the unexpected.